Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is the Minimax by Little Guy Trailers and it is very similar to the tab made by New Camp and I was actually looking into one of these options when I was considering whether to buy a trailer or a B-Class RV. So let's take a look. This is where your sewer hose goes. This is one of four levelers. This would be your sewer connection, gray, black. Check out how aggressive this tire is. Your 30 amp connection right here. Fresh water connection and city water connection. Cable. Water heater. Outdoor shower. hitch for up to 150 pounds. You could put bikes there. There's a solar panel on top. Check out that storage. It's pretty deep, especially for something of this size. The exhaust. There's two speakers, 110 outlets, HDMI and cable, and it looks like this is an area where you could attach maybe an outdoor table or something, and a foldable step. And it looks like this acts as a doorstop. Yeah, and it even holds the door in place. And there's the other leveler. Down here is your propane, outdoor propane hookup. And there's a spare tire. And check out the clearance, it's pretty good clearance. Here's your manual jack, your chains, seven pin connection, and there's a compartment for your propane tank and your battery. All right, the outside looks pretty cute. Let's go check out the inside. Nice handlebar. Look at that, I love this screen. That is really nice. There's even a window in the door and it pops out and you can turn this knob to lock it in place. It comes with another screen and privacy blinds. This is the kitchen area. Two-burner cooktop with a cover, a sink with a cover. It's a pretty deep sink. It's pretty big. Nice faucet that is a pull-out with a switch. The cover for the sink is slightly elevated from the rest of the countertop. Overall, with the covers on the sink and the stove top, it's a good, decent sized area of counter space. There's a nice big window here. Privacy shade. Screen. And of course, again, it pops out to open and gives you a great view when you're working in the kitchen. Storage on top little cubbies on each side so every space seems to be utilized. Under the counter there's this big drawer area so it's a there's a, like a little 
container that you can put sponges or utensils and there's even some more room behind it. It's pretty deep. To the right of that is a big drawer. Now check this out. Lots of compartments for silverware, knives, utensils. Pretty big storage underneath. The doors feel very secure. One pen outlet. Now the microwave is all the way down here. It's not convection, it's just a little microwave. And it is low to the ground, but at least you've got it if you need it. And then drawer underneath. All right, check out this AC unit. It's pretty big for a trailer of this size and must keep this area very nice and cool. And there's the kitchen exhaust fan. It's a manual. So you turn this knob and it goes up. And then you turn this dial to adjust the fan speed. Ooh, that sounded pretty good. Let's check out the fridge. This is a pretty long fridge. It's pretty good size. One, two, three, four shelving areas. This nice little bin that pulls out. And the freezer is a pretty decent size. And I'm assuming this is a cute little ice cube tray. How nice. nice and secure. Down here is a pull-out freezer that you can adjust to have different sections and it's pretty deep. Great size refrigerator freezer for this size of a trailer. Let's check out the bathroom. It's actually a pretty decent size. Now I am 5'4". So if you're a little taller, you might want to sit on the toilet to take your shower, but I'm okay in here and I've got great arm room. Nice shower head. This is really nice. Little switch, adjuster switch. And toilet and toilet paper holders, nice and covered so it doesn't get wet. No vanity in here and no separate sink. So the only sink in this trailer is the one in the kitchen. Otherwise, this bathroom feels roomy enough for myself. Okay. So we're now in the living room slash bedroom area. So I'll start with what's on this side over here. So there's this TV right here that swivels out. So you can get a pretty good view while you're sitting here in the dining area or the bedroom area. So right underneath there's a charging center with two USB ports and a 12 volt. Above the TV there's a speaker, two 110 outlets, solar charge controller, thermostat, Above the window here, there's this nice little cubby area where you can store some extra stuff. Below it, the window again pops out and screen and shade. And it's a pretty big window. Nice seating. It's nice leather. There's this big window in the back here and it all just pushes right out. And look at that. Another big screen goes all the way to the bottom. And of course, down here is your privacy shade. It goes all the way up. Can you imagine the cross breezes that would go through here with these big windows? And this one, this sounds amazing. And even the one up front in front of the kitchen. So again, on this side, there's this nice little cubby area. Speaker, window with the shade and the screen. There's two 110 outlets on this side here. We have the stereo. Now 
now down here there's a storage area. It's a little narrow, but it's there. There's something there. Back here. This seems to be... Oh, this is a pull-out. So this is how you would make the bed. You pull this out, this table would go down, and then you would put, take each cushion from each side and just lay them on top and you got yourself a really large sleeping area. Okay, let's check this out. Ooh, that's pretty deep. Nice storage area with adjustable shelving. So one, two, you get two shelves. On the side here, you have your systems monitor and you can see your fresh and gray tank levels, water heater controllers, water pump, interior light, porch light, handle and step light. Moving right below, this is a pretty deep storage area. And check out this tiny little fire extinguisher. Overall, I feel pretty comfortable in here. It's a tiny trailer, but it's actually pretty roomy and spacious. I love the light interior colors, and the hardware feels nice and sturdy, and even the cabinetry seems to be of a good quality. Love the big fridge and freezer. The bathroom size was good enough for me, and height-wise, some people might have an issue with it. The kitchen is great. I love that there's a window that you can just look out through. Lots of storage space for a trailer of this size. And I love that there's all these big windows. You have the one, two, three, four windows. You can open them all up, put up the screens, and you're gonna have some great airflow going through here. So thank you so much for joining me on this tour today. Please subscribe to my channel and join me for future videos. Bye for now.